Hello and welcome back to my channel, Jill Suds and Soaps. It's been a while since I've made a video, so um, I really wanted to soap. It's a new angle, we got the new uh, kitchen countertops, so I'm, I apologize about the angle. This is the first time I'm doing it this way, so we'll see. We'll see as we go on. Okay, now what I'm going to use, I wanted to do kind of some fall-inspired colors, so I'm doing a purple, and I'm going to do black. And I'm going to do orange. We're going to do this luster black. And then the purple, what I did was I sprayed some rubbing alcohol and put it in here and mixed it up. Just a few squirts. Same here with the orange. All right, I'm going to melt these down 30 seconds at a time. After 30 seconds, I'm going to um, take it out, stir it, and stir as much as I can. Stir all those clumps out. Um, and then take it out and when it's fully incorporated when you manually can stir all the chunks out then I'll be ready at that point okay we'll see you soon okay we're back that took me about five minutes um, what I have here is my olive oil melt and pour base and here I added uh, 16 ounces and here I added four ounces of the um, goat's milk all right I'm gonna go ahead and mix my colors the orange in here Sometimes I put the uh, micas in this way too. It's just preference. I usually like to dilute them with the rubbing alcohol if I can. Okay, so what I'm going to do is make this or uh, grape, grape, gray, purple grape. How about that? All right, now a trick to get all the uh, good micas out of there is to spray some rubbing alcohol. the orange first. This might have to go back in for a minute. Let me put this back in. I apologize if the views, if it's not real good right now, I will work on it. Okay, this luster black. orange. Alright, let's see. Hang on one second. Let me check the temp first and see where we're at. 126. Okay, 135. Let's see what this is. Okay, 125. I don't believe that, but it's probably about 130. Okay, let me go get another chopstick and I'll be right back. This beautiful purple. Then we have the orange and then the black. And I'm going to go ahead and start the pour. I think we're good. All right. 
I'm going to pour it this way, and I'm going to hope and pray that you guys can see. All right, I'm going to go in first with the white. Again, I promise to get the angles right. If it's not right right now, I will work on it. Okay, let's do some more. Boy, I'm trying to think. It's been about two months I haven't made soap, but I did have some videos on backup. Let's do some more purple. Now the higher you pour, the more penetration. So I'm just going to get all this out. Put a tiny bit of white there. And then use this, and then I'm going to use the black. Okay, that is it. All right, guys, I will see you in about two hours or so. See you then. Okay, we're back for the unmolding. I waited about two hours. Okay. Okay, I'm going to cut this and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I'm pleasantly surprised. They look a little spooky, I must say. I couldn't wait to cut this. It's been too long since I've made soap. I really do like them. Like I said, they kind of, I mean, they remind me a little bit of Halloween. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please press the like button, comment down below, uh, become a subscriber. Once you do that, hit that notification bell and you'll be notified of any future video that I do release. Thank you so much and have a great day.